Today we are here with Brian Robeson, only survivor from a plane crash while on to from Hampton, New York to Canada. Brian survived 54 days in the wild with nothing more than a hatchet and a survival kit which he later found in the tail of the crashed plane. Now Brian, from what we already know, the pilot suffered a heart attack and due to him being unable to drive, you took the wheel and steadily flew till you ran out of gas, crashing in an unknown area. But Brian, that's really all we know, so tell me, how did you feel when the pilot had the heart attack? I didn't know how to feel. Everything just slowed down and I had a striking realization that the pilot was dead and that if I didn't do anything soon, the plane would crash. The pilot previously had shown me a bit about driving, so I used that knowledge to keep the plane steady and even tried calling for help with no answer. With realization that I would run out of gas eventually and that I was already on the brink of an empty tank, I was thinking of what to do when I ran out of gas. I looked for water and when the time came, I crashed into a lake. So you were stranded alone. Did any negative thoughts come through your mind? And if so, how did, they, how did you get over them? How did they affect you and change you as such? According to your mother, you're almost a completely different person. Well, yes, actually a lot of thoughts and well, I do regret them, but I always keep words at heart like, you can't play the game without hope. And something from people like my teacher, Mr. Perpich, who said to always stay motivated. As for the change in the wilderness, it forces you to change to look at things differently. On my first bird hunt, I couldn't catch one at first since the color of the bird blended in perfectly with the surrounding forest. And so I had to change the way I looked at it. Instead of the color, look at the shape and then I caught it. Oh, were there any attacks from animals or crazy weather? Yes, I was hunting a bird and when I went down to the lake to wash it, a angered moose came up from behind me and knocked me aside. I was afraid of what happened, so slowly tried to escape when the moose saw me and attacked my side, hurting me in the ribs. I eventually was able to escape after the moose left, but not that long after a while I was sleeping, I awakened to a sound of strong wind. And when I went outside to find out I was in a tornado or near one at least, I waited for the storm to die down, but it destroyed my shelter and Must have been tough. But now, Brian, what would you have considered your greatest accomplishment? Well, I guess it would have to be getting the fire. It took me several attempts and I failed many times and had to keep thinking of new ways of the things I saw with the failed attempts. But once I did, it opened a window of opportunity and benefits. I no longer was stung by insects due to the smoke and I can now hunt and cook things. Now Brian, I know you already answered this a bit before, but I think there might be more things to make your mom consider you a different person. So was there anything else that changed you and the way you act, think and act? Your mom says you're more grateful, a harder worker, more persistent and understanding. How did that happen? Well, as for being more grateful when you have had nothing to eat and you have to work for your food and supplies, you notice what even the simplest fork can do. And every single everyday item is something that I know how hard it is to get. So I appreciate it more. Like when I go into a store, I marvel at the supply of food because it was more than anything I had ever had. As for the hard working and persistence that would be from the all the times I failed and had to keep trying and building off of what failed and not being able to give up as I wouldn't be able to survive without anything. Now, what would make you more understanding? Well, I believe that is from something I learned while in the wild and that would be the feeling sorry for yourself doesn't work. There was a time in which all I ever did was cry and complain about how bad things were for me. This is what I refer to as the old Brian. 
The me that didn't get anything done and gave up trying, only to give up hope and trying, try to end it early. The boy I am now is someone who refu refuses to give up and lose hope and be more aware so the understanding would be that I no longer felt sorry for myself and just accept what the world threw at me. And there you have it, everybody. Brian Robeson. Brian, thank you for the us today. CCN News, Brian Robeson, Survivor. <laughs> that was it. My side hurting. <laughs> Don't look at what. Why did you? Well, as for being more grateful when you had, when you had nothing. And there you have it, everybody. Brian Robeson. Brian, thank you for being with us today. And there is CCM. <laughs> I was about to say med kit, but then I remember we're not doctors.